Hello, this is Paolo with Preta 3D and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to solve some common problems when importing eye materials from studio into reality. Sometimes eyes uh, have some additional textures in studio that are not necessary for uh, rendering via lux and reality and not only they're not necessary but they actually cause problems, some interferences. So let's see how this is solved very, very easily. So I just loaded the standard uh, default Michael 4. I'm running reality and there are two materials that are generally affected by this. One is the eye surface and the other is the cornea. Now, if you're not familiar with the anatomy of the eye, let's, uh, let's get a little closer to that and um, see how it works. I'm gonna just hide everything about Michael except for one eye. Okay, so we can close this again and come very close to our eye. And if we look at the eye here, you can see this bulging part in the front, what is called the lens sometimes, that is the cornea. So behind the cornea, there is the iris, which is the color part. And of course, the pupil. Now the pupil is just black. It shouldn't show anything. And so you can generally safely set it to matte black. The other part, the outer part of the eye, which is generally white or you know, with some veins in it, some blood that part is called the sclera so now that we know a little bit more about the eye i can tell you that the parts that are affected are generally the cornea and the material that is wrapping around the whole eye called eye surface let's go back to reality and see where they are. Here we are. So, cornea and eye surface. We are not, for now, interested in the other materials, okay? We can change these and they will change the way the eye look, but they will not create any kind of black eye effect. So, look at the cornea. First of all, <clears throat> we have to look at the glass material. We have three main components, the reflection color, the transmission color, and the texture, which is the transmission texture. Now these terms mean two very simple effects. The reflection is exactly what you expect. The color of the reflection on this material, basically the highlights. And the transmission is, if you want, the color of the glass, the inside part, the, the way the light is changed, tinted, when it goes through the material. Now normally, for eyes, this transmission color should be always white. And the transmission texture should not be here at all. And that's the reason why, if we render right now, let me just decrease the sides, do a quick render, oh, all lights are turned off, so let's close reality, add the mesh light. I have a shortcut for that, I don't need to check the position of the light, and do a quick render. All right, so here we have our eye, we'll develop in a second, but I can tell you for, for sure that this area where we should see the iris is black, it's basically dark and black and we can't see what we'd like to see. You can actually see a little hint of the iris just below the black cornea. So that is actually proof that um, this is exactly what's happening. So let's close Lex and uh, simply take this and erase it. So let's see the difference now. 
oh, even at this state, I can see that there is more definition. So it will take a second. There you go. You actually see the pupil and the iris because the cornea now is transparent as it should be. Okay, let's close this. Let's uh, let's take a look at some other effects. What happens if I change the, the transmission color? Let's say that I make it blue. And this is a little too dark for my taste, so I'm going to click again and go to the HSB sliders, which means hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'm going to lower the saturation almost to be completely desaturated. So just a very, very faint blue. We confirm it and click. So now the cornea should have a slightly bluish tint while still being fairly transparent. Now, if you change that color to darker tints, see, actually we can see that there is a slightly blue cast in the eye. Look at the so-called reflection here. Okay. Let's close this. Let's make this a little darker then. What happens if we go at this level? Right, you can immediately see the difference. The cornea is blue. And we can still see the iris below. But if this color becomes very dark, then we will have the same effect. We will have the same black eye, black center of the eye. Now, this is an interesting effect. You can use it to create, you know, very different kind of eyes. Now, many times when material comes from studio, they might end up like this. Very, very dark. So in that case, there is no transmission. The color, the darkness of the color determines how much transmission the material has. In other words, how much light can go from the top of the surface down to the bottom of the material and we see that basically there is no transmission the light is absorbed completely and we cannot see below so these are some very easy things to check when you don't see the right effect on the eyes so let's go back to white this is how we like it but watch out there is something in the modifiers so apparently the standard materials in studio benefit from having um, the same texture that is used in the diffuse channel in the bump map. We don't need this. We don't need this. So uh, we take a look at this texture just to verify what I'm talking about. And you see that basically there is a part of the of the uh, iris days repeated as a bump map. We don't need that. So we remove it. We check also the alpha channel. There shouldn't be anything here. And your strength opacity should be all the way to one. This shouldn't be changed at all. It should be one. So maximum opacity. It's a glass material, so it has different behavior. We don't have to, to play with this to make it transparent. It's already transparent by nature. And there shouldn't be any texture here. So this is how you want your eyes. Reflection color white, transmission color white, no texture, and the glass type set to architectural. And that will work. Now, if we look at the eye surface, we might find something in here. I often find something in the modifiers, or again, these colors or the, uh, or the texture can be set to something different from what you see here. Well, change it to be white, white, no texture, and architectural. And if you do that, then your eyes will always look correctly. Now, there is a, a little issue here that since I'm I have your attention that want, I want to mention. This eye, even though the light is clearly coming from 
this point here. Now, if I change my exposure, you will actually be able to see it. Now, you see exactly the shape of the mesh light. There is a reflection here. There shouldn't be anything here, not at least not this shape here. I see two lights. See one highlight in this side and one highlight in this side. This is because the texture for the iris has been baked with the reflections from the photographer's lights. Whoever took this picture had actually two lights in front of the subject to create some sort of a even lighting. Well, it, it doesn't work with reality because reality will give you these reflections for free. But if you have them already baked, then you create this effect of light coming from directions that are not actually re reflecting reality. So what you need to do is to use textures for the iris that are not containing those highlights. Now, if we, if we click on view UV for the diffuse channel, we can actually see that in fact that there are reflections baked in the iris. Actually, <laughs> we can even see the reflection of the eyelashes. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> okay, so these textures can kind of work on, on a wide shot, but if you are rendering a portrait, you should choose a different one. One thing we can do, and I'll give you this example, we can just click on change and I'll go to my content and I'll actually get to Victoria, runtime, textures, there's characters and so on until I get to my textures installed for the Lana Elite character. So here we have eyes that still have some reflections, but they've been edited to be a little less. We want these as neutral as possible. So I'm going to take this and use it in place of the iris. Don't need anything else. And now if we render it, There you go. And now we have a perfectly visible iris with no baked in textures. This is how it should look. Okay. Now, if we want the reflection being on this part of the eye, we can do that. It's just a matter of changing the uh, position of the eye so that it looks at us. So, ooh. here you go. Let's see how this works. And if I calculate the angle right, and I think I did, we will see a nice reflection right there on the cornea, as it should be. There you go. That is our light reflected as it should be on the cornea, not baked on the iris. Well, we just need to check our exposure here and uh, maybe even a little less there you go and here we have it that's the way it should be that's how you fix your eyes check the transmission check the transmission texture check the bump map and get rid of all that stuff you don't need it all right Hope this is useful. I'll see you next time. Have fun with the reality.